In this video, I'll teach you how to cut out an image and add a border or an outline to it in Canva. Do you know these super aesthetic Instagram post designs that are trending right now? Yeah, that's what I'll design to show you these Canva tricks. I'm Natalia and I help you create better content and grow on social media, so let's do this. So we're on the Canva homepage and this post is going to be in the recommended size for Instagram posts, which is four to five ratio. This is the one that you want to click for. If you don't see it in here, you will find it in the social media tab in here. So you can just click on it like this and it will take you to the editor. However, I already have it opened and titled so we can start working from this page in here. Now, the first thing I want to do is to prepare the basis for our design. So I'm going to go to elements in here. And from here, I'm going to search for a very specific thing that I'm looking for. So this is what I'm finding. And in the photos, you can find obviously all the different assets that you want for this type of a carousel or this, this type of a post. I prefer to use a bit more of a busy background. So this is the one that I'm going to choose for it. And now what I want to change as well is to go for the background color and I want something dark. Now I have this palette in here, but of course, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can choose something else. If you want to try Canva Pro, you can use the link down below it will give you a whole month to test these out but I want to choose this color from my color palette it's a very dark brown and I'm just going to stretch out my my image over it like this and I can just drop the transparency to something kind of around 20 just so that we've got this vague kind of undertone in here but we still have a very dark canvas to work on then we need some text of course I'm just going to hit T and from here I can just add my text uh, workspace makeover and I can choose the color I think I'm going to go for this light one of course I need to select my text so something like this in here and I'm going to just pop it to the middle just like that and the next piece of text I'm just going to go to text in here and add the subheading because this is when I want to start working it and it again goes to my brand that I've created for this particular design. So I'm just going to say for zero dollars in here and I want to add an effect. So I'm going to go for a background. This background is going to be again from my color palette underneath in here. This is quite how quickly you work when you actually have everything preset in Canva. Um, of course, this is not the basis of our uh, tutorial in here, but I want to show you how to do it still just to achieve this kind of an effect. Now, there are actually three main ways of creating cutouts in Canva and then some additional ones. So I'm going to show you all of them briefly just so you know that you've got a variety to choose from. When we go to elements, the first thing that I want to do is to, again, look for a very specific element. And I've got this one. And this one is great for you to see the power of the background remover if you've not used it before. This is a great, great tool that everyone pretty much universally loves in Canva. So this is the first thing that you can do to create your cutouts like this. So that's method number one. Now, the second method is actually by searching through the library, and this is very often the free option as well. So there are certain keywords I'll leave in here for you on screen that you can use to find these cutouts. So maybe something like collage is a great option to find different kind of graphics and cutouts in the graphics or also in the photos like this. So you can see that these are already kind of cut out elements that you can use as the basis of your design as well. And if you add anything else to it, so for example, maybe I want flowers and I can add PNG to them. This is a great way to find those cutouts in here. And apart from that, there's also this filter in here. So if you click here and go to cutouts only, Canva will already filter tons of beautiful elements already kind of cut out for you that you can use as the basis of your design. So this is actually stunning. I've not seen this one before and I absolutely love it. So this is another great method. Then sometimes you feel like you find something really cool and fun. Uh, so let's go for a boho living room again. Um, maybe you'll find something that you really, really love that's an element somewhere. So for example, if I went for something like this and used a background remover, it will remove a different elements for me and may not necessarily find what I'm looking for. So if I go back, the thing that I love to use is actually 
magic grab. This is another cool feature that Canva has. And if I go to magic grab, you can see that I can actually select certain elements. I can select this blanket in here. I can select this plant in here, or I can just click on something that's not being selected and Canva will analyze this photo and try to obviously cut out this image from uh, below. Now, sometimes what I love to do is to just click a few times just so that it identifies those extra parts. And if you keep clicking, so you can see these little bits were selected. If I click again, now I've got the entirety of this uh, macrame kind of selected in here. So I would be able to also grab it from here. And this is how easy you can do it. And that's how I like to select different elements that may not be kind of the main player in here, but this is how easily I can create these cutouts as well. And the last method that I want to show you actually utilizes one of the apps from the ecosystem. So if you go to apps, go to the search bar and go for choppy, that should be able to find choppy crop for you. And this is quite a cool, um, cool thing that you can do within Canva that not many people know about. It's one of these apps that I kind of enjoy. If you start clicking around your subject like this, you can create this funky kind of outline that's not necessarily, uh, you know, cutting it out completely, but it's giving you this bit of a collage feature like this. And you can kind of be quite choppy with it. This is, I think, why uh, the name got inspired uh, like this. And I can just outline my subject completely like that, and then connect the dots. And this creates my cutout like this. And if I add it to the design, again, it feels a bit more like this kind of scrapbooky, collage type of an element, which I also really, really love. So this is another way to add those amazing cutouts and create them from within Canva. Now I found the elements I like for this particular design. Of course, I rotated them and kind of placed them around my text, around my copy, just to create that fun effect that we know so well from Instagram right now. And what we can do right now is to add outlines. And this is actually super, super easy in Canva. All you need to do is to select your image, go to edit here at the top, then under effects, you have shadows. And we actually have this outline feature. Of course, if you want, you can also, let's go for maybe something like this. And you can also add your own color to it. So you can go for something like white, but I want to use my own branded color for this one. So I'll add this kind of nice creamy one and it can change the intensity as well if you want it to be blended by want it to be a full full on kind of outline around it of course some people prefer to use the glowy one so if you prefer this to be a little bit more blurred and this is your style by all means use this one so play around with it find the style that you like i really really do love these full kind of outlines like this so i'm just gonna keep adding them like that so if i just go and match the same style for all of those if i just keep clicking I stay within the shadow. So it's very, very easy to just adjust it like this. And I'm going to add the last one like this. And the reason I don't go and use copy style is because obviously I've removed my backgrounds in here. So for example, if I went from this and wanted to use the copy style one, you can see that it removes that magic grab effect from underneath it. And voila, this is how easy it is to design this style of a carousel and how easy it is to do the cutouts and do the outlines in Canva. Of course, you can can see in here down below, I've created the rest of the pages. I've created uh, kind of the basis of my other designs with different elements from the Canva library. They're all a mixture of all these methods of cutouts that I've shown you. And it's so fun to play around with it, to be creative and to really visualize what you're talking about in your content. So it's another layer of adding that engaging, visual, stimulating kind of elements to your design so that grab attention and of course lead your, um, your lovely audience to to follow you or to, um, you know, to activate them towards your lead magnet or to, you know, to your offer. So this is an amazing way to um, really kind of be, um, be in style and create certain things for Instagram that work. But of course, bottom line is you always need to make sure that you're not just jumping on trends and this all matches your uh, brand and your style. So make sure to keep this in mind. Of course, we have to optimize our posts for the new Instagram grid. So if you want to know how it's done, then watch this video next. And I've left some free Canva templates for you in the description to download as well. If you learned something new here, support my channel with a like and subscribe for more actionable content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.